Welcome collectors, it's Kyle the Collector here showing off some Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet items. So first off there's Thanos from the movie as a Lego figure. Here is Armored Thanos. Marvel Legends figure, looking really cool. So that's a build a figure so that's pretty hard to get right now. Uh, going for a premium but worth it, definitely worth it. Here is a uh, Marvel Select from Diamond Select. Thanos, and uh, it skills pretty well with the movie figure. I got uh, Jim Starlin to sign that a little while ago. And here is the comic accurate uh, Lego figure. Whoop! Lost his arm. So those are some Thanos figures. Next up, we got the Infinity Gauntlet. Okay, what gives him his power? So you can see that uh, this is a Marvel Legends, and it matches with the Marvel Legends uh, figure pretty well. Same kind of copper look. So those gauntlets uh, that lights up really well, kind of like a Christmas tree or something like that. Uh, you, you can uh, wear this and move the fingers. Your fingers aren't actually where the fingers are. And uh, you can lock it in place if you want to do like a fist or something like that. The back side of it, you can see a lot of screw holes, but you're really not going to look at that side, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, but overall, it's uh, If you can find this for a good price, I recommend for sure buying it. Alright, here's the actual comics. Okay, we got the trade paperback on the left. So that has all the issues in one. So if you just want to read it, that's the best way. If you want the original, uh, those go for around 30 or 40. Uh, this one's signed by George Perez. And then the reprints, man, you can get that for like a buck. So Here is a awesome poster. I love this poster because it harkens back to that issue one cover by George Perez. So, and I put a unsigned original in front of that poster to kind of pay homage. Okay, and then in the 90s, there wasn't a lot to tie in with the Infinity Gauntlet comic series, but there was some games. So there was a SNES War of the Gems, which is a side-scrolling, like arcade beat 'em up and then there was a fighting game as well, made by Capcom. So those are pretty cool. And then for the War of the Gems, Super Nintendo, um, there was in Nintendo Power a poster. So advertising that this game was coming in. Thanos looks really old in that pic. I don't know why. 